Hey, what's up everyone, Cry here. Citrine's last wish brought us four augment mods that are actually strong and in line with the meta. So in this video, I'll make sure you guys know what do they do, why they are so good, and how to build around it. You'll be able to make your squad invisible, AFK one-shotting steel path on the surfboard, play an actual auto-bomber in Warframe nuking maps with lightning, and finally shatter your enemies with glass. Nothing could have prepared me for the high stakes heartbreak that surrounds me. You, you want me, you won't let me go. So I've been so. The first mod is Revenant Mesma Skin Augment Mesma Shield. Revenant receives plus 50% of Mesma Skin Strength and allies within affinity range are granted a maximum of 5 charges. This augment is busted cause as long as you keep your Mesma Skin stacks on your squad, you'll be all 4 invulnerable, immune to statuses, for example, no more annoying magnetic procs burning your energy, and immune to stagger, no more need of prime show footed for your AoE weapons. In addition to that, upon consuming a charge, Warframes will be invulnerable for 1 second, so you won't have to refresh it on teammates more often than every 5 seconds. I think you got it, this Revenant augment is strong, because if you run this build, your squad will be undying against any level of content, and the only thing that can hold you back is your damage. This augment is meant to support your squad, and Mesmer Shield is only affected by duration, duration is whatever on Mesmer Skin, and Mesmer Shield is given within affinity range, so what I recommend is building around an Elmith of your choice, if you want to do more than just pressing your second ability every so often. Just copy your favorite Elmith ability build and add Mesmer Skin Shield augment to it. For example, if I want to run my raw build for disruption, and assist my team at the same time with Mesma Shield, I will just replace Augur Secrets on this build. The second mod is Yareli Merilina Augment, Merilina Guardian. Enemies eliminated during sea snares heal 20% of Merilina's health, upon healing gain plus 200% reload speed on fire rate on secondary weapons for 20 seconds. This augment is probably the worst of all four, but actually pretty good, as it's gonna allow you to stay on your Merilina permanently as long as you play actively, and further improve the damage of your secondary weapon. As in addition to Yareli's passive giving 200% critical chance for secondary weapons, you'll get 200% reload speed and fire rate for 20 seconds every time you heal your Merulina. This can get ridiculous on some secondaries, and you will cruise through steel path content as you'll be extremely tanky being able to sustain the life of your Merulina, but also do a ton of weapon damage. The build I recommend is good strength and efficiency as we are going to spam our first ability quite often. And strength will increase the health and heal rate of your Merilina, but also the damage vulnerability of enemies hit by the globules of sea snails. I also went for double pistol arcanes as our secondary weapon is our damage. As a third mod we got Jaya Cathode Grace Augment Cathode Current. Eliminating an enemy while Cathode Grace is active will release an additional discharge from Rotor's Well with 200% damage and extend its duration by the same amount. This augment actually enabled Jaya and made her what she was meant to be since her release, the Auto Bomber of Warframe. An Auto Bomber is a character that after activating its self-sustainable abilities can nuke enemies by only pressing W and don't have to press any buttons other than moving forward. Cathode Grace Augment is extremely fun, and every player that tried it, loved it. As you can see, you press your 4th and 3rd ability, get close to enemies, and that's it. Jaya will nuke them, chain electric procs quite far actually, and self-sustain the duration of both abilities as long as you kill actively. As Rotor's Well discharges those chain, I only went for Archon Stretch for a little bit of range and energy sustain, and then all out on strength for a maximum of ability damage. 
Note that I use energy conversion for this build, so make sure to proc it before activating your third and fourth ability. I'm also using Terrify Almanth to have an easier time against armored enemies, so I slapped Prime Flow and Arcane Energize as every Terrify will cost 116 energy. Finally, the last mod is Gara Shattered Lash Augment Shattered Storm. When Gara breaks her mass vitrify ring with Shattered Lash, enemies struck by the glass suffer Splinter Storm at 100% strength. First, I heard rumors that this augment was underwhelming, but after testing it, I got pleasantly surprised by its effectiveness to greatly improve your squad damage. This augment made Gara even stronger as it's now extremely easy to apply Splinter Storm debuff to enemies. As you can see, every time you break your mass vitrify ring with Shattered Lash and Shattered Storm Augment equipped, you will apply Splinter Storm to any enemies hit by the mass vitrify explosion. And as long as they are affected by Splinter Storm, you get a damage multiplier on them for abilities and weapons, scaling with strength. So this is the build I went for, a good balance between efficiency, range and strength, to nuke low level content, or make you have a good time stacking your Splinter Storm and kill with it, or just assist your team by applying Splinter Storm to a maximum of enemies on the map. I also went for the new Arcane Steadfast for better sustain as Gara is an ability spammy frame. I hope this video jazzed you about those augments. If you enjoyed it, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see what's up next.